kingmaker Nitish Kumar JDU today said it wants a review of the Agnipat Agniver recruitment scheme brought in for the armed forces in 2022. JDU leader KC Tyagi said a section of voters were upset with the Agniver scheme, adding those shortcomings should be removed. He said JDU supports uniform civil court UCC but wants all stakeholders to be consulted. Tokeho Yaptomi has resigned from the primary and active membership of the Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party NDPP in Nagaland. Earlier, the Lon Lok Sabha Member of Parliament from Nagaland, Tokeho Yaptomi, expressed sincere gratitude to Chief Minister Nipirio and NDPP President Ching Wang Konyak for giving him the opportunity to contest the 2018 Lok Sabha by poll and 2019 Lok Sabha polls. The Indian Meteorological Department IMD has forecast widespread light to moderate rainfall accompanied by thunderstorms and lightning across the northeastern region, Sub-Himalayan, West Bengal and Sikkim over the next six days. This weather pattern is expected to bring much-needed relief and replenishment to these areas. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma today announced that the state panchayat elections will be held in the month of November this year. Addressing the media, the Chief Minister stated that as part of the preparation, all development blocks will undergo restructuring and the delimitation of panchayats is set to be completed by August-September in Assam. The Voice of the People Party VPP in Meghalaya has distanced itself from the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP-led National Democratic Alliance NDA at the national level citing ideological differences and reaffirming its commitment to secularism and minority rights. VPP leader Arden Miller asserted that they remain firmly committed to refraining from forming alliances with political parties holding different beliefs and principles. Hamas has lost nearly half its fighters in eight months, shifting to hit-and-run tactics to counter Israel's advances in Gaza. The group's forces decreased to 9,000 to 12,000 from 20,000 to 25,000. With Israel losing 300 troops, Hamas now relies on ambushes and bombs. The conflict is prolonged with Israel targeting Hamas' governance. Naglin is gearing up to make its mark at the 12th Senior National Panchak Silla Championship 2024 slated to take place at the Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology University in Bhubaneswar, Odisha from June 11 to 13. With a team comprising 24 members, including both boys and girls, Naglin is set to compete fiercely in individual sparring across multiple weight categories and in eight artistic events. Leading the charge will be President Kevishi Sema and head coach Deep Kumar, supported by senior referee Kuhoshi Chishi, all from the Naglin Pinchak Silat Association. <laughs>